Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Happy Hour. I am your host. I guess I'm the one to give out the, the devotion uh, during this time. My name is Brother Corey. I'm so glad you could make it today. And I pray that your work week has not been overwhelming, but healthily, healthily busy and productive for you this week. And I pray even more so that you get the rest and the rejuvenation that you so deserve, that you so deserve um, um, on this weekend. Uh, listen, I do this, I do this just simply for us to, to disconnect from our work week, take a moment of meditation so that we can connect in our weekend, all right? Um, have some fun this weekend. Make make some memories with your family this weekend. Uh, take care of that project you've been wanting to do at the house. Uh, but just, 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 just mainly just, and then make sure that on Sunday, on Sunday, that you connect with someone for worship. All right, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, thank you for joining me. This is Happy Hour where I share a little bit of scripture, and some thoughts that, that tie in with that particular text. And then I pray with you. And, I, and, then, and then we release each other from each other's presence to go about our business. Now, uh, today's idea that I want to place upon your heart is that about making decisions. That about making decisions. It's, sometimes it's really hard for people to make decisions. Um, but listen to this. Listen to this, this scripture out of 2 John chapter 1, verse 6, where it says this. And this is love, that we walk according to his commandments. This is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning that you should walk in it. Ah. Sometimes in life, sometimes in life, it can be difficult to make decisions. When it comes to larger choices, it becomes even more difficult. Um, things like, who should I marry? Things like, should I stay at this job and take the new job? Uh, things like, uh, should I make the purchase of that house? Should I purchase that car? Um, health decisions, uh, just life-changing decisions, decisions about your children and, and how to handle uh, them and deal with them. All of this can seem overwhelming to all of us almost to where you become decision paralyzed. Uh, and sometimes in that paralysis, uh, no decision is made at all. And you just allow life to overwhelm you and take you over. And it can almost drive you to depression. Some people cannot take the stress of making decisions. Because if you talk to one friend, they'll give you one idea. You talk to another friend or another family member or your pastor or or just your co-worker and they'll give you a whole different idea and now you're caught between the two it can be overwhelming decision paralysis but listen in those moments where we are uncertain where we don't know which direction to go we can still remain obedient in what we know we should be doing that is reading God's word that is praying to the Father that is staying in fellowship with other believers. And that is loving others. Listen, as we walk in obedience with things, or with these things, when we walk in obedience with that list I gave you just now, we'll find that God will lead us into wise decisions on the big things. Off the time when I have to make decisions, I feel that I've come to the answer or come to the resolve or come to the decision that needs to be made when I find a sense of overwhelming peace that comes about. Now, my decision may not always agree with the status quo. My decision may not always agree with um, um, the loved ones around me. My decision may not always agree with my coworkers or my friends or or just, just even my bosses. But when I've come to that overwhelming sense of peace between me and God about the ordeal. That becomes my decision. After all, if you are in God's word, you are reading about his desires for you anyway. And listen, as you pray, you are bringing these difficult things to God and he is listening 
And let me tell you, God always answers prayer. When you fellowship, you will find godly, godly counsel waiting for you. You'll find godly advice coming through those believers that you fellowship with. And as you love others, you are putting God and others first. And listen, God always promises to provide for those who do just that, who just love others. So today, as you get ready to close out your week, rest on this idea. You find yourself at a crossroad. Continue to walk in obedience in the small things and watch as God leads you through the big things. Listen, my rambling today, all of my rambling, I want you to, to have this in your, in your mind. When at times you don't know what to do, remain obedient in fellowship. Remain obedient to what you know you should do and trust God through it all. Listen, I, I thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I thank you for listening to me and giving me your time. And I ask you to enjoy your weekend. And that big decision you got to make, don't worry about it. God's got you. Just You just stay in God's word. Keep, keep studying his word. Keep praying to him. Stay in fellowship with, with believers. But then on top of that, love others. Put others first. Love God. Love others. And then love yourself. Trust me. God will answer. God will let his voice be heard. And you won't have to worry about making those decisions. God will reveal his answer to you. I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you as we get ready to close out of here. Again, I thank you very much for hanging out with me. God bless you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, most gracious Master, I am thankful for your involvement in our life. Because of Jesus, Lord, we can come to you with our concerns and our decisions. And, and Lord, you, 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 you promise to give us wisdom, especially when we ask. So Lord, please continue to guide us in the large and the, and the small stuff. The big choices we got to make and the small choices that we have to make. Not just today, but Father, always. Help us to walk in obedience in the small things so that we are in a place to walk rightly when it comes to the big thing. God, I always ask, and I'm asking now that you continue to walk with us, talk with us, remind us that you love us unconditionally. Thank you, dear Master. We pray this in Jesus' name. Lord, I lift up those on the other side of this screen, those that are hearing my voice right now, those that this might be shared with. Touch them and keep them, God. Walk with them. Let them know that everything's going to be all right. I pray all of this in the matchless name of Jesus the Christ, our soon Kimmy King. Hallelujah and amen. Amen and amen. Listen, I thank you again for hanging out with me. May God bless you and keep you. It's my prayer unto you. All right. Bye-bye.